What's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Pro Guides video solos and Fortnite. Yo, it can be very difficult and one of the hardest aspects of a solo play is just finding a drop spot and a loot route. Specifically, one that isn't heavily contested while still providing decent materials and good loot. So, in today's video, we're going to be going over some amazing loot routes guys in the Fortnite Chapter 2 map. But real quick, I got a quick question for you. Are you looking to get better at Fortnite? If not, then uh, you're on the wrong channel unless you're just looking to get motivated, which is all good. If you are trying to get better at Fortnite, you know, make your way over to ProGuys.com after the video, where we have exclusive courses for our pro members made by pros like Mongrel, Benji, and Kaz, along with meta articles and videos to keep you guys updated on what's happening in the Fortnite scene. Yo, on top of all of that, we got awesome stuff. We really, really do. We also offer 24 seven on demand coaching. Finally, the last thing before we get started, let's do the question of the day. Today's question is my friends. All right, what is your current loot route? And uh, what are the pros and cons if you have one? You know, I know a lot of people like landing on the east side of steaming stacks and just working their way around in a clockwise direction. This is because you're able to hit more quiet spots while most people are in the main building area. You know, this route is cool, but you gotta be looking for something that has contested a tad bit less. Looking forward to what you guys have. Leave a comment and tell us what your favorite loot route is. What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Just want to encourage you guys to not only be great in this game, but also in life. There's so much inside of you that you don't even know about. You have so much potential to do so many great things. This year, I want you, you know, going into 2020, I want you to start stepping out of your comfort zone. I want you to try new things that you've never done before because you know, you're gonna grow. Face your fears, the things that you're so afraid to do. Just try it, just go for it. Have no regrets, okay? Connect with me on my new Insta at Your Motivation Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to sit back, relax, and get my favorite candy. Come on, say it with me. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. Our first loot route is a route that I know a lot of people use all the time, and you only switch off of it sometimes because the circle goes pretty far. However, as a whole, it's an amazing loot route, guys, so let's run through it. Okay, so for this loot route, you're going to be initially landing at the Rainbow Houses down near Holly Hedges. This is going to give you a solid start with four chests and a decent floor loot, all right? Once you're done looting the houses, make your way up the hill just north, farm up around here, and make your way up northeast to the EGO base, okay? This base is going to give you guys max metal in three chests, two of which are inside of the main building and one at the small building at the front. Loot these guys and grab as much metal as you can. From this point, you got multiple options. If the storm is far north or northeast, we recommend that you guys head up to Holly Edges and just cleaning up from there and heading to the circle. However, if you're inside of the zone, we recommend heading southeast to the wood factory. This factory is going to give you guys almost instant max wood along with five chest spawns within the main yard. Okay, so loot this up, grab some wood and even a bit more metal from the cars and trucks if you're not maxed out yet. By this point, okay, so you got 12 chest bonds all to yourself if everything has gone right. You also have maxed out wood and metal with a solid amount of brick where you can go from here is purely situational. If the zone is still on you or just very close, you can head down southwest to Shanty Town for an extra four chest bonds and slurp barrels, all right? Or make your way in and around Weeping Woods where you can find a ton of lone chest bonds and the little cabins to top up on your loot along with a ton of stones and trees to just break down for extra material. All right, so one more thing to keep in mind, guys, when trying out the Rainbow Houses loot route is that, you know, the zone is not really gonna be that nice to you. Oftentimes, you know, the zone is gonna end up across the map and you're gonna have to go with one or two minutes remaining to avoid taking damage. However, you know, when weighing the pros and cons of this loot route, you know, we feel the great loot and solid materials heavily outweighs the risk of the storm. As long as you're able to keep a constant eye on it, guys, and just make a move when you need to, you know, avoid getting too greedy for loot. OK, don't do that. That'll be the end of the game for you. Overall, if you're looking for a quiet early game with good loot and materials then the Rainbow Houses loot route is definitely worth considering. All right. However, you know, we know some of you guys prefer a more aggressive approach. That's fine. That's all good. And that's why for our next loot route, we're going to be looking at a route right outside of Misty Meadows. The Misty Mountains are a great area of the map to consider if you're looking for a few more early game kills. This loot route provides decent loot and materials, right? And a direct route into Misty Meadows so you can get some easy kills at the beginning of the game. So to start, you're going to be landing at the EGO base southwest of Misty, right on the side of the mountain. 
quickly grab the two chests and floor loose spawns and farm up the fences and building for a solid amount of metal. Okay, so once you finish looting here, make your way up to the cabin on the top of the hill. Here, you're gonna be able to farm the walls and furniture to get a good amount of wood, along with three chest spawns and seven floor loot spawns. Make your way slightly up north and you're gonna see a lone chest spawn. All right, so grab this one and head down the hill to the northeast side. From here, and I mean right here, you have the option to either loot these houses or to push into Misty. This is all up to you, my friends. You know, I know a lot of people that like to loot the cabins, and if you're playing in a scrim or a tournament as loot reigns above everything else in competitive play, it's smart. Each of these two cabins on the west side of the hill have two chest bonds and floor loot. So by this point, you've gotten 10 chests, which basically means you're completely stacked if you're a solo player. Even in duos, man, like this loot route is worth considering as the loot is almost guaranteed and it's rarely contested. From this point, guys, all right, you can choose where you like to go. If you're in a lower skilled lobby, like a public match or like a lower point arena game, you could just easily push into Misty Meadows and grab a few kills. Or if you'd rather play it safe, you could head up northwest for more loot with the truck chest spawn and a building by the lake with two chest spawns and brick and metal for materials. All right, so from this point, it completely depends on your situation and your play style. So it is really all up to you. Overall, if you're looking for a more aggressive approach, which still has great loot and materials, the Misty Mountains loot route. Man, it is a great route, and it's going to guarantee you guys you're going to get plenty of loot and materials, along with an easy rotation into Misty or a Northwest rotation for more loot. So we recommend that you guys give this loot route a shot whenever you're looking for kills. All right, so let's take a look at another loot route. This one is a lot more passive, but will offer you guys great loot whenever you get in zone. This next loot route is unique, as almost nobody takes this route, and you can get upward up to 18 chests if you get circled, with a minimum of seven or eight, along with solid materials, tons of fish, and a good path to end game. Okay, so to start this loot route, we're gonna be dropping into the bottom island, south of the snowy mountains. To be more specific, we're gonna be landing on the east side of the island, all right? The building made out of brick and metal. Start by landing on the north side of the building, grabbing the lone chest on the outside, then the two on the northern inside area of the main building. From here, head around to the southeast part of the yard, picking up floor loot and just farming on your way there, and picking up three chests around there, okay? Next, once you've gotten these chests, make your way over to the water on the east side, grabbing the chest in the container and a fishing rod or a harpoon from the barrel. Spend a little bit, you know, fishing for easy healing, and just be sure to check the zone while you're doing so. If the zone is far away northwest, you're gonna have to get a move on, using the boat, which should be pretty close. If the zone is on you, or pretty close, just swim or boat up northeast to the cabin on the water and just grab the chest spawn inside and continue making your way up the coast. You're gonna run into another building made out of brick with one chest spawn. And then after a while, you're gonna find a sandy beach area. Here, you're gonna find three chests and you're gonna be able to farm up some more materials. Finally, make your way up the hill to the west to the cabin where you're gonna get another three easy chests and a ton of floor loot. After all of this, all right, make your way up to the top of the hill for another three chests in the camp area. From this point, you could take any route you want, either down to the bunker area with two chests or southwest to Booga's old landing spot where you're gonna find nine chests with another lone chest to the east. If you complete this entire loot route, you're gonna get 18 chests, guys, and more depending on how you rotate from here. So to put things into perspective, okay, most solo players will have looted five or six chests going into mid game. This drop spot and loot route will put you guys at a crazy advantage if you manage to loot the whole thing. So overall, if you're looking for some of the best loot in the entire game with low risk of any early game fights, the Southeast Coast loot route will be one of your favorite loot routes and it's gonna guarantee you guys some amazing loot. The only thing is just be careful of the storm, which might pull Northwest and force you guys to rotate early. However, if you have a boat in this case, it's gonna make the rotation a bit faster. Definitely check this loot route out if you want some insane loot and good rotations. You know, the last loot route on our list is very unique and it's more centered on the map and it's gonna give you guys better positioning regardless of where the zone is. Following this route, yo, you can get up to 11 chests with seven of them pretty much guaranteed. This is plenty of loot for a solo and you shouldn't have any major issues with it. So to start this loot route, we're gonna be landing at the junkyard outside of Dirty Docks. Now, while you're dropping in, be sure to look around and scout for where the other players are landing, okay? Especially around Frenzy Farm and the EGO base northeast of your drop. 
This area will offer you guys a solid amount of metal and three chest spawns for a pretty solid start of your game. Once you're done with this, cross the river to the west and just grab the lone chest spawn and go west toward the gas station where you won't find chests, but you're gonna find a ton of floor loot. Next, head up toward the bridge, looting the building for one chest and the rest of the main bridge for two more, farming anything on your way, okay? So from this point, you got a decision to make. Remember when we said to scout around and just see where people are landing? Yeah. You're either going to be going toward the EGO base or the small house west of Frenzy, depending on which is more contested. The mini Frenzy area will have two chest spawns and not much else. If you head on to the EGO base, you're going to get a ton of floor loot and four chests, which will top off your inventory and pretty much guarantee your great loot along with offering amazing amounts of metal. So from this point, it really just all depends on where the zone is. So make sure that you find your way there and just continue into the mid and late game safely with the great loot to back you guys up. So in this video, all right, we showed you four amazing loot routes for solos. Let's quickly recap and let's just go over each route we showed. So first up, the Rainbow Houses route is an easy, quiet route with good loot and materials. However, you know, its main downside is that the storm may be pretty far. If you want good loot and materials as a solo, you're able to keep your eyes on the zone. This is a great passive drop spot. If you're the aggressive type, the big hill south of Misty Meadows will do the trick. With 10 chest spawns, remember that, max metal and wood, man, and a direct fast route into Misty where you can pick up some more kills and an easy northwest rotation if you decide not to fight. Third, if you're looking for the best loot in the entire lobby, with around 18 chest spawns, fishing, and great rotations, the southeast coast is going to be your best friend. Head here if you want a super stacked loadout and an easy route to zone if something goes wrong. Finally, you know, if you're looking for a more centered loot route, the junkyard to bridge route, remember, will do you guys nicely, as you're going to be further towards the center of the map, and it's going to offer a fair amount of loot and materials. Once again, this is your motivation guy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Look, make sure to connect with me on my new Insta. I believe in you guys. You know, keep going. Don't give up. Don't surrender. This is going to be one of the best years of your life going into this next year, all right? We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Head into your next solo game confident, guys, knowing that you got some great loot routes to try. So just be sure to try it out. You know, try each route and just give it some serious consideration. Don't give up after a few bad games, all right? You got to keep going, man. Get back up when you fall. Don't forget to use code PROGUYS in the Fortnite item shop whenever you make any sort of purchases because it just really helps us out and we really do appreciate it a ton. Comment down below what you guys want to see next on the channel. We do read all your comments, we really do, and we're always looking for new ideas. We aim to bring you guys the highest quality Fortnite content every single day. So do us a favor by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to see more content just like this, show ProGuys.com some love for bringing you this video. I will right, we'll see you next time.